And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Tonight, the story of fear in surgery. We call it The Operation. So now, starring Mary Jane Croft with High Aberback, here is tonight's suspense play, The Operation. Okay, Danny. Back her into the driveway. Let's go on a little further. What for? It's too much of a run from the store. Who's gonna run? Come on, back her in. Hey, supposing someone comes out of the house... Danny, will you shut up? There's no one home. Well, I don't like it. What's the matter with you? You gone yellow? No, but what's the sense well, of Well, stop taking... talking. Come on, let's get out of the car. Come on, move. Hey, wait a minute, Al. What's the gun for? I thought you said Danny, we Danny, were... it ain't loaded. Hey, use it to scare old man Shawl if we have to. What are you waiting for? You coming? Sure, I'm coming. Okay, let's go. Hey, you know what to do. Keep your eyes open. You see a cop, you come and get me. I know, I know. How many more times are you going to tell me? Well, don't get scared and forget. Oh, cut it out. I'm not going to forget. Okay. Now stay put. I'll be out in a minute. He's coming this way. Yeah. Where is it, Shaw? I'm asking for the last time. Where? You get nothing from me, mister, except maybe this. Come on, Dad. Hell, I'm it. Get your arms around me. I'm shot. I'm shot, Al. You'll be all right. Come on. Thomas Scholl was shot and killed. However, it is believed that one of the gunmen was wounded by Scholl before he died and may seek medical attention. Doctors, especially those in the vicinity of the West Side, are warned to take every precaution. They are advised not to admit strangers to their offices. These men are armed and dangerous. Stay tuned to this station for further bulletins. We return you now to the Concerto Hour. Yes? Uh, can I see the doctor? No, he's out. His hours are from 5 to 7. Well, yes, lady, I know. I, I saw him this evening. Oh? Yes, uh, my name's Carter. He gave me some pills in the clinic, and I, I forgot them. Oh, well, you'll have to come back tomorrow. I'll tell him you called. Tomorrow? Look, I, I can show you where I left them. I'm sorry, but you'll have to see the doctor about it. He'll be back in about an hour. Oh, excuse me, the phone. There's a seat on the porch if you want to wait. Hello? Hello, dear. Did I leave my wallet? Oh, yes. I put it in your desk. Oh, good. I was worried. Everything all right? Mm-hmm. I heard the radio bulletin on the car. Oh, yes. I heard that, too. Don't worry, though. I'm fine. I better lock the doors and windows. I did that anyway. Good girl. Say, if Mrs. Thomas phones, tell her I'm on my way. Yes, all right. I will. Oh, um, have you, um, have you got a clinic patient named Carter? Mm, yes. Yes, he's new. Came in about six o'clock. Why? Well, he just called for some pills he left in the office. Oh? Uh, did you find them? I didn't look for them. I told him to wait for you. Is he still there? I don't know. I left him on the porch. Well, tell him to come in if he wants. He'll make a good bodyguard till I get back. Uh, be about an hour. Darling. 
I don't need a bodyguard. Now, please. I get worried with you alone there. Okay, all right. If it'll make you happy, I'll ask him in. If he's still there. Thanks, dear. Al, goodbye. See you in about an hour. Bye, darling. Mr. Carter? Mr. Carter? Oh. Will you come in, please? That was the doctor on the phone. He said if you'd like to wait, he'll be back in an hour. Oh, all right. Please sit down. Thanks. I, uh... I suppose it's lonely at nights for a doctor's wife. Oh, I'm used to it. I was head nurse at St. James Hospital. Oh, really? That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. What, well, uh... Look, lady... I'm sorry I gotta do this, but I've got to. What? I want some dough. Why well, don't I? I've never robbed anyone before, but I've, I've got to have some money. I left the pills before on purpose. I, I figured I'd come back when the doctor went out on a call. I've been waiting around for two hours. Well, I haven't got look, anything. Look, lady, I... I, look, I'm sorry. I, I figured this out for a long time. I paid the doc two bucks, my last two bucks, for the visit today. There must have been 20 others like me. Now, now that dough's here, and I want it. So please, don't make any trouble. Just, just a few bucks, that's all. That'll see me through. Well, why don't you just get a job instead? Look, you... lady, I, I've got no time to argue. I lost my job. That's the trouble. Come on, now. All right. Get away from that phone. Get away. Get away. Look, look lady, if, if, if you don't keep quiet, you're going to get hurt. Oh, please, don't, don't do anything like that again. I just want some cash. Nothing else. Now, just tell me where you keep it. There's a few dollars in my bag. Five bucks. It's not enough. Where's the office? He keeps his money in there, doesn't he? I don't know. It's locked. Okay. Maybe one of these will open the door. Let it ring. Come on. You'd better let me answer that. I'd better not. Now, you stand over there. Don't move. Yeah. Well, it's a nice wallet. I always wanted an alligator wallet. Let's see. Listen, lady. There's better than a hundred bucks in here. I don't need all that. Maybe you think I'm crazy, but I'm just going to take 50. I'll send it back as soon as I can. So just give me a break, will you? Don't tell the cops. I'm on the level. I've just got to have the dough. But you're stealing. There's no excuse. I'm sorry. I've, I've got to lock you in. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Well, what's the idea? Turn around and walk. All right, get through that hedge. All right, okay. Let's get it over with. Here's my wallet. Now, can I go? No. Keep moving. It hurts. Al. Al. It's okay, Danny. It's me, Al. <laughs> Do something. Do something quick. All right, kid. I got the duck. <laughs> It hurts bad, Doc. 
I'm, I'm going to no, die. No, you won't, Danny. You're going to be all right now. What's wrong with him? Got a slug in his guts. Help me, Doc. Help me, please. I'm not a doctor. No? Your shingle says you are. We'll see what your wallet says. It's not mine. James Bell, M.D. Listen, I'll tell you... You tell me nothing. Do as I tell you, so help me. I'll kill you right now. Let me talk. Shut up! We're going inside. Inside? He ought to go to a hospital. Pick him up, Doc. I said you're going back inside. But I... Oh, what's the use? Look, you make a run for it. Leave your pal here with me. I'll get him to a hospital. Don't leave me, Al. Don't leave me, please. I won't, Danny, I won't. Okay, help me pick him up, Doc. You're going to get the bullet out of the kid. You are listening to The Operation. Tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Two thrilling dramas of Gunsmoke will be here Saturday on most of these stations. CBS Radio presents a daytime edition of Gunsmoke. Then, Saturday night, an entirely new story of Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal in Old Dodge City, shooting hard, riding hard, fighting hard to bring civilization to America's new frontier. Gunsmoke, now twice Saturdays at the Star's Address. Don't miss it. And now, we bring back to our Hollywood soundstage Mary Jane Croft and High Everback. Starring in tonight's production of The Operation, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. You open the door. All right, let's get in. All right. Hey, he's passed out. Let's put him on the couch for a minute. Where are you going to operate on him? But I try. Oh. Through there, in the office. All right, let's get him in there. Listen, would you let me explain Shut up. something? Jim, I'm in here. What's that? She must have got locked in. Jim! Jim! We'll open it and don't try anything. Move over. Come on, Doc. Let's get him up on the table. He's not... I didn't want to bring him in here. I said I'd take him to the hospital, but he... Doc's going to take care of him. What's the matter with him? He's been shot. Oh. Put put him down. All right, now stand away. Let me look at him. That boy's got to go to the hospital. You shut up. Who asked you? Why don't you give the kid a chance? Uh, Quit talking and take the slug out of him. Well, Well, don't stand there. Come on, let's go. You let let it ring. I said let it ring. Where are you going, lady? To shut the door. I've had enough of your big talk. Now, you listen to me and put that gun away. If you want to help your friend, make up your mind to take orders from now on. How come I take orders from you? He's the doc. You're trying to stall me, lady. She's a nurse. What she says goes. Okay. What do I do? Keep an eye on the boy until the doctor and I are washed up and ready. Keep your voice down. What am I supposed to do? I can't do an operation. Take your coat off and scrub your hands. What for? We're going to help him. For me? Yes, you. I won't go through with it. I can't. Please yourself. I know what you're trying to do. You do? Yeah, you're playing for time and trying to scare me. Maybe waiting for the doctor to get back. But it's not going to do you any good. We're both in this. It's now that counts. Oh? Sure. He finds out I'm not a doctor. He's going to use that gun now. On you, too. Oh, stop talking. Dry your hands and put on this gun. You, take your coat off and get ready to scrub up. Looks better, don't he? You should have taken him to a hospital. Don't tell me what I should have done. I'm telling you what you're going to do. Now, if you think it makes any difference whether I kill you or not, you got another thing coming. Now, get on with it. Uh, hurry and get washed up. Uh, he 
Keeps the game, kid. Uh, uh, I'm right here, Danny, shh, right here. Quiet. Don't talk to him. Uh, uh, Got to keep quiet. Go away. Yeah. You, you're a nurse? Yes. I want out. You'll be back soon. How is it? <laughs> Bad. Well, what are we going to do? We? You've got to help me get a house cut. We can't go through with us trying to get that bullet out. Don't be a fool. Get me a wet towel. I'll answer it. You stay right where you are. It's only a patient. There's your patient right over there. Come on, what are you waiting for? Get that wet towel quickly. All right. Al, where does your friend live? Why? If he's got any folks, you'd better get them over here. Never mind. Doc's going to take him home as soon as he gets through. If he's got a mother and father, you'd better get them here. You trying to scare me? He don't look so bad. That boy's awfully sick. Nurse. You feeling better? Uh, I, I want to help. Danny, I'm right here. W where's your gun? Take it easy. You'll be home in no time. Where's your gun? Come on, Doc. Get started. If you stop talking. You'll never get better. Uh, you, you said the gun wasn't loaded. Danny, take it easy. Why did you shoot him? Those shoals didn't do nothing. It's all right. You just take it easy. <laughs> You said there wasn't going to be no shooting? Keep quiet. We'll let the doc go to work. Now, now, close your eyes. That's good, that's fine. Don't go, Al. Don't go. I you won't. stay with him. You'll get the instruments. How long are you going to keep this up? We're going to get that bullet out. Now, you switch on the sterilizer and hold this instrument tray. Look, if you get him to hold this tray, he'll have to put his gun down. I'll grab it and you run for the door. What do you say? I'll take the chance. All right. Al, huh? would you come here and hold, hold the tray, please? What's the matter with you holding it? Well, I've got to help her with the instruments. You're nuts if you think I'm going to put the gun down. I'll help her. All right. I can manage. Take that jar of swab, put it on the little table. Okay. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Come on. I can't do it. I can't. All right. You tell him that. Go ahead. It'll be murder. Here, help me get his shirt off. He's passed out again. Good. That'll make it easier. Okay. What now? You sit over there and you'll be quiet. Now listen. Kid means a lot to me. I got him into this, and I'm going to see that he gets out. You make him well. You do that. I'm going to sit where you said, but I'm going to watch you. I'm going to watch every second. Lady, if he dies, you die too. I got nothing to lose. All right. I'll give him an anesthetic to put him under. You keep your back to Al. Right. Look as if, if we're both working. You hand me the instruments as I ask for them. Uh, no, I'll point to them. Well, you know how to do this? I hope I do. How's he doing? Be quiet. Give me the hypodermic. Huh? Oh, yeah. There. Now, that. This? No, 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 that oh, one. Okay. Swab. Hmm? Those cotton things. What? Quick. Oh, swab. Yeah. Wipe, wipe it. Wipe. He moved. It doesn't matter. Give me that one. Too deep. Too deep. I can't. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why isn't the doc taking the bullet out? I tried to tell Shut you. Shut up, both of you. More swabs. You're killing him. There. Now, that one. With it, this. All right. Quick. All right. Now, hold this. All right. The other hand. All right. Danny. Danny. He's dying. Look at him. He's dying. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Oh, you fool! You get. Oh, 
How about it? Think we should wait? No, they're probably at a movie. Yeah, this might be them. Anything wrong, officers? Dr. Bell? Yes. We're just checking. About the wounded holdup man? Yes, sir. Can't be here, though, because there's no one at home. Well, my wife's there. I know she is. Headquarters phoned twice and got no reply. We called all the doctors in this area. That's impossible. She must be home. I told her... Come on. I... Keep it quiet, doctor. I don't understand. Maybe she's taking a bath. There's a light in that room. That's the office. Keep me covered. Right. Ruth. Oh. Ruth. I'm all right. Take a look at the boy. I got the bullet out. But... Who's the guy on the floor? He's one of the men who held up the store. What happened? Mr. Carter got his gun away from him and hit him. You better give me the gun, sir. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh. Call an ambulance, will you, officer? You did a nice job, dear. Oh. He's going to be all right. Call the hospital, Eakins. Well, this must have been quite something for you, Mr. Carter. Well, yeah, something. I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Carter. Very grateful. And about that other matter, you don't have to worry. I'm sure the doctor will help. Suspense, in which Mary Jane Croft and High Everback starred in The Operation by Charles Jacobs. Next week, the story of a man's search for the murderer of his brother, a killing in Abilene. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Anthony Ellis. The music was composed by Lucian Morowick and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. Featured in the cast were Herb Ellis, Sam Edwards, John Fell, Bill Justine, and John Stevenson. Saturday night on CBS Radio, Gangbusters brings you the case of the careless dynamiter. It's the true story of a bad man whose vanity proves his Achilles heel after an exciting manhunt by police with brains plus persistence. Don't miss Gangbusters Saturday night with a complete file on the case of the careless dynamiter over most of these same stations. You enjoy City Hospital every Saturday in the daytime on the CBS radio network.